Hi everybody. I'm gonna be reviewing reviewing my first Pauline book. Reviewing my first ever Pauline book, and it has the sea saint for kids. And today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the story of a young saint who belongs to Saint John Bosco. That is Saint Dominic Savio. And his feast day was May 6th and he's the patron saint of all students, choir boys and all of them. As you see, I'm gonna be doing like this. But before you get started, please don't forget to subscribe down below. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading new, new, uh, new uploads. I'll be uploading new videos and new updates. But please don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And also... I'll be uploading new videos and new content every week, one week. This green page, I love it. It has like sissy saying, do you see this? Here, yeah, I love this part. And other page is this one. Behind St. Agnes, first one, and also this. So let's get started. Bye. As you see this behind Saint John Bosco, I'll be uploading like a few minutes ago. The page number 47, 47 page and number 46. Number 46. Two pages are, are page number 46 and page number 47. So let's do this. Here we go. Saint Dominic Sapio. On April 2nd, you know, Dominic Savio was born on April 2nd, 1842, in the village of Madonia in Orecheri in Italy. A weak and frail baby, a weak and frail baby was born in a poor blacksmith family. Blacksmith family. The father rushed him to church for baptism, fearing, fearing that his baby. <coughs> Fearing that his baby would not survive for long, all through, with poor health, the baby that survived was filled with the love of God. Dominic, Dominic loved the Holy Eucharist, rain or snow. He would attend mass. He had a little he had a, he had a little diary to remind him of his four promises, and the and the went like this went like this. Let's see. I will go to confession. I will go to confession. Okay. I will go to confession and receive the Holy Eucharist as often as I am allowed. I will try to give Sundays and holidays completely completely to the Lord. Lord. Completely completely to the Lord. My best friends will be Jesus and Mary. Death rather than sin. The parish priest saw that the young boy was deeply virtuous, so Dominic was allowed to receive his first Holy Communion at the age of seven. Fine. Dominic was allowed to receive his first Holy Communion at the Holy Communion at the age of seven. At the age of seven. At the age of twelve. Dominic was sent by his parish priest to to a school run by Saint John Bosco. <coughs> to a school run by Saint John Bosco or Saint John Bosco. Dominic was sent by his parish priest to a school run by Saint Don Bosco or John Bosco, whatever it is. This holy priest quickly recognized his saintly saintly virtues and good behavior. I can't do big things, but I want everything to, to be for the glory of God, said, said Dominic. So he made small sacrifices for God, never complaining about the weather or food, doing little doing little odd jobs for the other students and basically guarding himself from sin. Dominic gained the love and respect of all the boys and the priests as well. One day, two boys were fighting with stones. Dominic held up a crucifix and said, "Throw your first, throw your first stone at me." One of the boys said, "But Dominic, you have never hurt me. 
and you are my friend, you will you will not hurt me. You will you will not hurt me, a poor man. <coughs> you will not hurt me, a poor human. But believe by your actions, her Jesus Christ, who is also God. Asked Dominic. The boys hung up. <coughs> Asked Dominic. Asked Dominic. The boys hung up. <coughs> Asked Dominic. The boys hung their heads in shame and dropped their stones. Dominic always reminded his classmates to go to confession. He would not allow them to swear or curse while, while playing. Often he would invite them, invite them to make verses to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament or pray the Holy Ros Blessed Sacrament or pray the Holy Rosary with him. At the age of fifteen, at the age of just fifteen or fourteen, at the age of just fourteen. You know, at the age of just 15, on March 9, 1857, at the age of just 15 years old, or at the age of 14 years old, at the age of just 14 years old or 15 years old, on March 9, Dominic contracted tuberculo tubercul tuberculosis, which means in TB tuberculosis in TB. He passed away with a radiant smile on his face and at the very moment of his death exclaimed, Oh, what lovely things I see. At the age of 15, at the age of 14, Dominic Savio died at a very young age of 14 years old on March 9, 1857. He was venerable in 1933 beatified in 1950 he was final he was declared a in 1933 by pope Pius XI. eleventh beatified in 1950 and canonized a saint in 1954 by pope Pius XII. he was declared a saint in 1954 as you see most familiar you all know saint john bosco or don bosco whatever it is saint john saint don bosco was a offended his life behind to Saint Domin to Saint Dominic Savio and I hope you everyone I'll be see you in my brand new video. I'll be talking about Saint Gabriel Pocenti or Saint Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows. See you soon. Bye